welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you. This is Young Womanhood 101 where we share about healthy lifestyles, self-care, college, fashion, relationships, all of the above and if you're interested in that content make sure to subscribe. Today the video is going to be what to wear in summer when you hate summer because I have never hated dressing for summer until this summer of 2022. I just hate being sweaty. I hate my thighs rubbing together. I just hate all of it. So this is what you should wear if you're like me. So without further ado, let's just jump right on in to this video. I'm set. I got my Sonic Cherry Limeade, if you know, you know, and I got my notes right here. So let's do this thing. I'm definitely someone that just loves your sweatshirts, your sweaters, all of those things. I'm not a summer person, but this is the five tips that I've been doing to dress for summer when I actually don't like summer. The first one is t-shirts. Graphic tees, plain tees, t-shirts all the way are amazing. I stay away from baby tees because I just don't like how tight they are around my armpits because when they're tight, they make me sweat more. But the looseness of the graphic tee doesn't make me sweat as much. The looser tops give my armpits room to breathe and make me smell better because I'm not worried about sweating and smelling bad. So that's why I just love graphic tees all around. They're my favorite. Number two is tank tops with button downs. I'm not doing that today, but normally if I'm wearing a tank top, I have it with a button down. Tank tops are just difficult for me because I have aluminum free deodorant, so I can smell really bad when I sweat. And because I don't want to smell bad when I sweat, I normally will bring extra deodorant with me or I'll throw a button up over my tank top. This outfit combination is literally my favorite for the summertime. I'll show you a few ways that I've styled this. talk about shorts. Shorts are very difficult for the summertime. Probably the hardest part about dressing for summer, at least for me. But luckily for us, the girls that have big thighs, longer shorts are trendy now. So now we can actually wear them and not feel horrible at the end of the day. I don't have some good recommendations for longer shorts at the moment, but if you do, please let me know because I'm in the market for them. What I normally gravitate towards are sweatshorts. They are my best friend. I love sweatshorts. They're perfect because they fix my thighs rubbing together issue and they make me not sweaty because they're so loose and flowy. Another pair of shorts that are really popular for the summertime are bike shorts. I don't personally style them this way because I don't feel like it looks good on me, but if it did, I would wear bike shorts and graphic tees all day long, just all day long. I think that is a great style and it's perfect for all of my issues that I have. Dresses for summertime. Groundbreaking, I know. Dresses are amazing when you're dealing with the sweat issue because there's so much air going everywhere when you're wearing a dress. However, it doesn't really fix the thigh rubbing issue. 
So what I normally do, and you probably already know this, but wear bike shorts underneath helps fix that all as well when you wear bike shorts underneath it. The last thing that I do for styling my outfits, since normally I just have a plain outfit formula with a t-shirt and some shorts or jeans. So what I like to do to style up an outfit for summer or for winter, it doesn't matter, is using a flannel or a sweatshirt. I use these because you can't technically throw a cardigan over your summer outfit, but what you can do is you can tie a flannel around your waist. If I was an outfit formula, I would be that one because I've grown up wearing that outfit formula for years. Another thing I've been seeing on Pinterest that's really popular is to tie a sweatshirt around your neck. That could be cute too, I've never tried it, but it's just styling up a basic outfit and making it look cuter. That is all that I have for you guys. I hope that these outfits and tips were helpful. If you're not a fan of summer clothes and summer dressing, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let me know of any other video ideas you'd like to see from me because I like to do this for you. And I'll see you guys next Saturday. Bye guys!